All right, good morning, everybody. It's Monday, the 25th of May. Welcome to your Monday workout. So this morning in the States, it is Memorial Day. And traditionally in the CrossFit world on Memorial Day, we perform the workout MRF. So MRF is a benchmark workout. Actually, it's called a, it's called a hero workout. And they call it a hero workout in, in memory of a hero that was fallen in combat or fallen in service. And on this day, on the 20th of June, 2005, it was Lieutenant Michael Murphy. He was 29 years old at the time, died in Afghanistan in combat. And um, this was one of his favorite workouts. He actually called it body armor. It's normally performed with, uh, with, full, with full gear on, so it's 20 pounds. Plus, well, it was performed, normally performed uh, RX or prescribed with a weight vest. He used to do it with all his gear on. So what Murph is, Murph is a one mile run. It is 100 sit-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, one mile run. Um, the RX version or the full version, the original version, actually it's a one mile run, it's 100 pull-ups. 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, one mile run. So, because most of us are not in the are not in the gym or anything, if you have got a pull-up bar at home, if you want to perform with pull-ups, or if you've got rings, you can do ring rows instead of the sit-ups. But for our version today, we're going to be doing this. So, ordinarily, you'd perform the one mile run first, then you do the 100 sit-ups. Once you completed the 100 sit-ups or the 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, one mile run again. So. The nature of the workout, there's a lot of volume, okay? So it really has the capacity to make you sore. And with, uh, or with lockdown and everything else at the moment, most of us haven't been training as much as we might ordinarily train, in which case we need to be careful of how we scale this, right? So we need to modify the workout um, to make sure that you're not too sore tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. For those of you who have been training, right, you can either do the full version with the pull-ups and then you can do your 100, 200, 300, or we're going to find other ways of scaling it down to make it a little bit more bite-sized chunks. All right, so your scaling options for, for today, instead of doing a MRF, you can do what we call a SMRF. Okay, so it's a baby version of the MRF. All right, and the baby version of the MRF is half of everything. So instead of doing a one-mile run, you're doing 800 meters, you're going to do 50 sit-ups, 100 push-ups, 150 air squats. 800 meter run. Even that volume can be a lot, okay? So you have to choose how much volume you're gonna do, right? And then another way of breaking this up, instead of doing 100, 200, 300, it's actually to go, you're gonna do five sit-ups, 10 push-ups, 300, 300 uh, 15 air squats. We're gonna do five, 10, 15. So five there, 10 there, 15 there. It's another way of breaking it up so we never get too much volume all in one go on the, on the sit-ups, push-ups, air squats. If you want to change this around, you can go uh, five sit-ups, five push-ups, 15 air squats, and then eventually what you happen, you have to make up the extra volume at the end. So you can either do the full version, all 100, 200, 300, or you can do the 50, 150, what's that? 50, 100, 150, okay? And you decide, you can break it up to 5, 10, 5, 10, 15, or you can go 10, 20, 30, it's up to you. If you do the full version, you'll end up doing 10 rounds of 10, 20, 30. If you do the 10 rounds of the half a version, it'll be 10 rounds of that. So decide how long you want to work for. We recommend working anything between 30 minutes and half an hour. A full version of this is probably going to take you anything between 30 minutes to an hour. Right? So it is a long workout. Work your way through it. So it's, it's called what we call like a bit of a uh, chipper. You just got to continuously work through the rounds. Make sure you stay safe. Enjoy the workout. Okay. All right, so that's MRF for Memorial Day today, 25th of May, and uh, we'll see you for the warm-up shortly. All right, guys, so the warm-up. So nice, easy warm-up. We're going to go for a 400-meter run. If you've got a place to do a 400-meter run, please go for a 400-meter run. If you do this in the morning, if you do it during the day, maybe you can run up and down the garden, just outside your driveway, maybe in the street. Uh, try to get 400 meters in. If you're doing shuttle runs, do, sh do sh shuttle runs. We want to try and get that running fitness in. Then we're going to do 10 setups to pike, and do 10 setups to straddle, and 10 bootstrap shoes. And we do one to two rounds of this. All right. So let's going to have a look at the 400 meter run. Beep beep beep. Go out the door. 400 meter run. Come back in. And then our setups to pike. All right. So we do 10 setups to pike. What we're we looking for? This is going to push the heels out. Pull the toes back. Make sure this rib cage stays connected and that the small of the back is pressing into the floor. And all we're going to do is just kind of trying to stretch lower back, middle back, hamstrings, and touch. One, two, three, 
stretch, squeeze the glutes, touch, one, two, three, stomach nice and tight, touch, one, two, three, that is your sit up to pike. All right, it's a nice easy warm up, don't have to overdo it, bend the knees if you need to bend the knees a bit more to get a bit of a stretch to the hamstrings and the lower back and the neck and the shoulders. Then we do a sit up two straight off. So we do the same thing, we're gonna keep the feet together but we're gonna split the legs as you come up at the top. So from there, touch, straight legs, one, two, three, you don't have to overdo it, okay? You're still warming up, it's inside the adductors, lower back, two, three, feet together, hop, touch, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay. Then we're going to do some bootstrap stretches. So we want to get those hips nice and warm for some of the squat work we're going to do. So we're going to take some time, hands are going to come into the feet, and we're going to push those knees up and with the elbows as you go down. So you're going to do three bounces at the bottom, three bounces at the top. Go one, two, three, straight legs, one, two, three. At the bottom, I'm trying to keep my chest up, drop my hips down as deep as you can, feel the inside of the leg stretching, push the knees up and one, two, three, straight leg, tuck my head inside, feel the hamstrings and the lower back stretch, one, two, three, one, two, three, and take your time at the top and the bottom, okay, to get that mobility at the bottom, okay, which is going to help you warm up for that squat. One to two rounds of that, you can actually can do the, 100, the 400 meter run one time and then do two rounds of that 10, 10, 10. Then we're going to go for another 200 meter run, come back in, we're going to do 10 sit-ups, 10 push-ups, 10 burpees, 10 air squats, all right? So we're gonna get the heart rate up, get nice and warm for the pushing. So 10 sit-ups, our sit-up progression, okay, which is gonna use for the workout. From there, butterfly position, chin stays tucked in, touch, one. Okay, you should be warm in your midline and your hips and your back from that sit-up to straddle and that sit-up to pike, keeping the chin tucked in and your sit-ups. That's probably what you're gonna use for your workout. Remember not to let your neck fly behind you. If that's too uncomfortable, okay, you can just do a touch to the shoulders or even with your feet up. One, two, and that may be enough work for your stomach if your lower back doesn't like that hinging. Now that's gonna be your sit-ups, your push-ups. If you need to do some kind of a knee progression, knees on the floor, shoulders back, tummy tucked in. So you know do Hips to floor, knees to floor, chest to floor, press up, lift the knees, tuck the tummy in, make sure it's not pushing back through the shoulders. Stomach stays tight, keep the shoulders over the top of the hands, knees to floor, chest to floor, keep the stomach tight, press up. What I don't want to see is this. Okay, no snaky snaky. Right. Shoulders back, stomach tight, knees to floor, chest to floor. If you want to start up with that, if you need a warm up, even if you're strong, instead of going straight into strict push ups, do some floor progressions with the knees. Just get the shoulders moving nicely before you start going to some heavier work. Stomach tight. Okay. For your push ups. And you're doing 10 push ups. Then from that, 10 burpees, because everybody loves burpees. So from there, hips press back, knees to floor, chest to floor. One, two for your burpees, 10 burpees. If you're doing kickbacks, one, two for your kickbacks. And then 10 air squats, shoulder width apart. Hop. Two, knees open, back straight, chest up, shoulders back, 10 air squats. Again, you can do two rounds of that. 10 sit-ups, 10 push-ups, 10 burpees, 10 air squats. Once you've done two rounds of that, two rounds of that, you're probably good to go. Make sure you've decided what scale you're going to use. Are you going to do a Murph? Are you going to do a Smurf, 50% of that? Or are you going to maybe choose for 75% of all the volume? Are you going to do 100, 200, 300, one by one? Or are you going to scale it down 5, 10, 15? Are you, going to, are you going to scale at 10, 20, 30? Enjoy the workout. It's a nice long one. It's not something you're going to rush. Just work your way through the workout. Okay, the work today is in maintaining a consistent pace the whole way through. And eventually what happens is that the time domain, by a long time domain, that's where the intensity of the workout comes. If you need to rest, rest. If you need to stop, stop. Finish off with a run. 
Don't forget to stretch at the end of your move. And I'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday 26th. Thank <laughs> you.